member of the Congress party. That's the big update that we are bringing uh, for our viewers as Congress has lost another face. Jevi Shergil is now the latest one to resign. Remember, he was the national spokesperson of the party and he has now tendered in his resignation. My colleague Pallavi now joins me on the broadcast. Pallavi, what are the grounds for his resignation? See, he's one of the younger faces of the Congress party, someone who comes from Punjab, someone who was also hoping to get a ticket from Punjab. Uh, but, you know, I think uh, we are going to wait for an official word from him uh, for exactly the reason he gives out. But I think these are ominous signs and it also reflects a sense of disillusionment among many leaders within the Congress party who feel either sidelined or they feel underused or they also get a sense that they perhaps have no future within the political party. Uh, you know, we would have seen him as a panelist, we would have seen him as a national spokesperson. In fact, he was very much a part of the campaign as far as Punjab election goes. And I remember during the West Bengal elections also, he was very much a part of the campaign committee, uh, you know, addressing press conferences over there. But when we come back to a national level, uh, there is a sense of detachment and the fact that they have not been used effectively. And I think that's one of the main reasons which possibly explains what JV's resignation is all about. But as I said, it's actually symptomatic. It also shows that how there are many younger leaders within the Congress party who feel that they don't have a future and it's best perhaps to move on. You know, I was just uh, reading uh, what he wrote to uh, Sonia Gandhi and one thing that really stands out is that he goes on to say that the party is no longer making decisions that are in favour of public interest. And that really stands out because if a young leader like Javier Shergill goes ahead, tenders in his resignation, writes this, of course, what is the word that will go out when it comes to the grand old party of the country? And look at the timing. I mean, it's happening ahead of the state elections. It's happening ahead of the Congress presidential polls as well, when the Congress is talking about a new space. And, you know, the fact that there has been a sense of, uh, I would say, uh, uh, no movements taking place. Uh, there's a stagnation which we are seeing in the Congress party. Uh, there are decisions which are needed to be taken. There have been promises which have been made to many younger leaders that there would be a space for them, but that hasn't happened. So when an organizational change doesn't take place, it essentially means that, you know, does they have any hope for the party and does it have any hope for the political leaders as well? Uh, as I said, I mean, what he says is symptomatic. It actually explains the larger malai within the Congress party of not being able to forward or offer any forward looking agenda. And also, Pallavi, the fact that we still do not have a Congress president, do not have a name. Rahul Gandhi is still indecisive. There is no Priyanka Gandhi who wants to be associated with that post. Uh, Ashok Gehlot doesn't want to. That is the word that we are getting. What is really the future of the Grand Old Party is the big question. Well, I mean, I think the biggest uh, criticism which is coming in of the party and something which has been done time and again by the G23 members and Anand Sharma talked about it also. Hmm. The issue is not so much with the Gandhis. The issue is with the fact that there is no clarity on who really the leader is. And obliquely, they make a finger pointing at the Gandhis because they are the ones who are supposed to take a decision on what really needs to happen. I mean, today you have a situation where it's almost a presidential or personality-driven elections. You know which other side the leader is, but you don't know the face of the Congress party. A reluctant Rahul Gandhi kind of a narrative doesn't help the cause of the Congress party when all major decisions seem to have been taken by him. Right. Uh, thank you so much, Pallavi, for joining us with all those details. Important update that my colleague Pallavi is bringing as J.V. Shergill becomes the latest one to resign from the Congress party. <laughs> Leaving it at that.